Hi, we're gonna fix a pocket door that appears to have come off the track, but what it really is, is that the adjustment on the back wheels has slid down and it needs to be readjusted back up by rotating the nut onto the bolt that goes from the wheels into the cleat back here, which is almost impossible to get to. So this is the situation. The door is, looks like it's off the track in the back. You can see that the way the door matches up here to the frame, it's a lot wider on the top than it is on the bottom. And the only way to open it, slide your finger in here, get down to the bottom, push it back. You might need that trick. So we're gonna come back here and we found that the trim on the back side, although it's mitered at a 45 degree angle here, on this side, it's cut flush. So this small piece of trim here will come off the rest of the trim and that will allow me to get access to the wheels and the cleat and the bolt and the nut that's behind this piece of trim. So the first step is to come along here with your trusty razor knife. This is an Ulfa cutter and cut all the way along here, which I've done. Then I'm gonna take a pry bar, try to get it in here and open this up. So I'm shooting this by myself, but the first step is take a chisel or what have you that you can slide in there and knock the piece of trim off or pry bar, whatever you got. The thinner, the better. So I managed to get this in there, which is actually uh, an attachment for my hacksaw that has a thin blade on the front. It's the thinnest chisel type thing that I've got. And then I'm just gonna go along here and pull it all over. fun shooting and prying at the same time. All right, there's that. And now I'm just gonna pull the whole thing off. Great. And now when I slide this back in, I'm gonna have better access to this track to the cleat, that thing is the cleat. And you can see the bolt there and the nut is below the cleat. I'll be doing this, but on the back one that's back here after I close the door and lock myself in. That didn't give me the access I needed, so I'm pulling the same piece of trim off the front. Now I'm taking a screwdriver and I'm spinning up the top nut. Guys, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. I wish I could force on the light on this phone. Anyway, I'm going to spin up this top nut here. I'm going to spin this top nut up with the screwdriver. First, I tapped it with the hammer to get it to move. And then that is just a nut that goes around the thread. I'm just gonna spin it up. Okay, so I've spun that top nut up. Which you can see up there. And now I'm gonna come in here and spin the bottom nut up while supporting the door at the bottom with a little wedge. So now I'm going in here with a 7 16 inch wrench and I'm going to tighten up that nut on the bottom. So I used a couple of uh, clothespins or one clothespin split in half to wedge the door up and now I'm going to go in here again with the screwdriver and spin up that bottom nut. So 
But now that I've raised that bottom nut as high as it will go, I'm gonna go back in here with the screwdriver and lower that top nut down to the top of the cleat. So now for the final tightening, I'm gonna go in here with the hammer screwdriver and just try to tighten that nut up a little bit uh, because I can't get in there with my wrench anymore. If I had a thinner wrench, I would hit it with that, but this should do the trick. I just want that door to be as high off the ground as I can get it. And that's it. And then I'll go back in, replace the trim, and uh, that's it. I hope that helps somebody. Taking your advice, I did have to take the trim off the front, even though the guests are gonna see that, uh, because that's where the cleat opens up. So that was the only place I could get the wrench in. But now it is working pretty good. And voila, all done. Works like a charm. Still slightly uneven, Ugh, but that's it. That's all I'm going to do.